There we go. I've been here at BYUI for about almost four years now. And for me, the reason why I chose BYUI isn't, I suppose, initially what you'd think it might be. It was just an easy college to get into. I saw that 96% acceptance rate and I thought, cash money. <laughs> when I first arrived, I was almost fresh off my mission just by a mere six months. And it was honestly something that was really special and important to me to finally venture out on my own outside of the mission and go to somewhere special. But more so than that, I was looking for something that would really help me to gain the skills I needed to succeed in life. And I didn't know where else I could get them. Funny enough, what I first learned about video at BYUI was actually from a counselor of mine at the, I think it was EFY back in the day, now it's FSY. Basically, it's a program for youth. They go out and enjoy a fun spiritual week together. I guess you'd call it youth camp. What this counselor pretty much told me was that BYUI had a good video program. That's all I knew. That is the extent of my knowledge, but it was enough. Let me share three crucial things I've learned at my time here at BYUI, as well as three experiences that have molded me forever. The first thing that I've learned is my career. I've basically learned how to actually get paid to do like what I'm doing right now, except more professional and not with a six-year-old phone. <laughs> I've learned so many incredible skills of how to work video, how to camera work, how to create in paperwork, cinematography, script writing, so much. I might have even gone a little overboard because I just found out that I, uh, I had extra classes that I didn't even need to take. I mean, I suppose that was nice to learn. Eh? The second thing that I've learned is that community is crucial when it comes to stuff like this. I have never been in such a strong faith-based community of peers of my age like this before. It's been insane. Networking is uh, fantastic, what can I say? It's like I get to make friends, and then those friends and I, we get to make money together. That's fantastic. <laughs> the third thing that I've learned here is that the spiritual and the material do not need to necessarily be separate but rather we should take with the material and build something spiritual with it. Or rather, perhaps we should infuse it with the spiritual. We've all seen the uh, wonderful stereotype that is Christian cinema, like uh, God's Not Dead. Not a fan, personally. I can't see myself trying to do that because I want to do something that both shows the truth shows the light, shows the love, but also does so in a way that doesn't want to make you find the nearest trash can and just <laughs> We can make incredible things. We can do incredible things from a gospel perspective, from a restoration perspective. The gospel of Christ does not need to be separate from the world. Our lifestyles have to be separate from the world in that we need to live spiritually and not worldly, but we can still be in the world with not being of the world. And that's an important distinction to make. Now let me share three experiences I've had here at BYUI, or rather, what my being here at this university has enabled me to do. I met my beautiful wife, Brittany, here. We've been married for about a year and a half now, and we have truly enjoyed our lives together so far. I would not have been able to get to know her or share what I have with her and be sealed to her if I had never come to BYUI. It just would not have happened. The timelines, they shifted with that single choice and I was able to come here and enjoy what I believe is the best timeline. My second experience is that, kind of tied to the first one, we're expecting our first child. That, I think, is even more special here, uh, mostly because my wife is very determined that when I graduate in just a couple months, um, she's going to put the baby in a my dad graduated today hat. We've kind of been, in a sense, given a break from the rest of the world so that way we can get ready to raise this kid properly. 
and we've had a lot of talks about it and what it is that we want to do when we parent and how we're going to do that. That's going to take a lot, but in the end, it's going to be amazing. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And by far, I have been able to grow in my testimony of the Savior and of his restored church and his prophets. There's not quite anything like an education that you get here. It truly is unique. Not only is it something that is truly educational in teaching you the skills and the abilities you need to succeed in the workforce and in life, but also doing so from a gospel perspective, that you can take these things and make something even greater of yourself and them. I think that's the experience I've had with myself. Because if I had stayed home and worked a typical nine to five without really trying to expand myself, both in my beliefs, my testimony, and my knowledge of the world, then I would have been, uh, shall we say, subpar. So, let's keep that from happening. <laughs> my testimony of the Savior has been increased so much since I've been here, and I am going to be forever grateful that this gift was given to me through my experiences and the things I've learned here. And of course, their tuition is fantastic, so way better priced than anyone else's by far. Like, you can actually afford it, <laughs> especially in this economy. So for me, that is why BYUI is my choice for my college education. I know a lot of people are going to keep dumping on college educations, and I don't blame you. The system outside of institutions like this is profoundly far worse. It's rotting at the seams. You look at what's happening with the president of Harvard or other universities across the, the, the nation. It's honestly insane the lack of trust that has developed around college. And for, uh, to a degree, I don't blame people. But if there's any institution on this planet that can help restore the trust in a college education, a higher education, it is BYUI. And I would highly encourage that if you are doubting whether or not you want to partake in a college education, which I will openly admit is not for everyone, but I think can be if they so choose, I think that you should take the time to investigate it. I think you should try and see what it is that you want to get out of the college education and see if you can find that here. I'm quite certain that you will be surprised pleasantly so. May your fall be vibrant and very slow before it turns into white mush. <laughs>